last time here I spoke with uh, people in the church here. And I was telling you about uh, the problems of our country. You remember? Amen. Huh? Amen. And I want to remind you again. You now, before this whole thing start to happen, I'm sure that was three weeks ago. I came to you and said, let's pray for our country. Because I saw problems that are coming. You, how many of you remember that? Let me see your hand. You know, this thing is it's very serious. And if we don't pray, I even said to you, we can end up living in a country that people will fail to govern it. I'm sure you remember that. Before I did a service, I was praying. And more especially about our country. Uh, to be honest with you, there's something that God reminded me. You know, God was reminding me that many people, they've forgotten that, you know, the liberation has started in the church. You hear me? You know, God was just reminding me something like that. Remember, your liberation has started from the church. You people, let's make sure our children are not, are not making noise. We want to close now. That's what God was reminding me. Because when you check, it's through the wisdom of God. You know, that a party was formed. You heard what I said? It's through what? The wisdom from God. But where did it start? In the church. Your leading party. You see the party that is leading you. Where did it start? Huh? Where did it start? In the church. And God was telling me that, but they have forgotten. Now, remember before the elections, I told you, I said, what will happen to them? It will be like a warning. In the, in the history of elections, they are going to get the worst elections ever. I'm sure you remember that. Yeah? And what happened? They even came out on TV. They said, we have received the worst elections ever since the party was started. I told you this thing before they went for election. I said, this time, because of what I saw, I saw the president of the ANC look at me. And he was angry. I asked him, why are you angry? He said, ah, things are no longer the same. And this morning, God said, they have forgotten how this whole thing started. Before we close, I want us to go and pray for your country. Huh? before we close, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of problems, but the worst thing that I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of riots that are coming. We are going to live in a country that will be failed to be governed. You hear me? We're going to do what? Live in a country that it will be failed, you, people will fail to govern it. This time that I'm seeing. Because there will be riots everywhere, people will be fighting everywhere, this and that, problems everywhere. Now God was reminding me, they forgot, they forgot. And I had so many questions that I was asking myself. I'll tell you one of my questions. Just bear with me because I'm going to close now. You know, 
when you read the word of God, the word of God is teaching us about the children of Israel and how the children of Israel traveled. One day I asked some people, I said to them, where is Canaan? I asked people that question one day. I said, where is this Canaan? But when you read in the word of God, the word of God speaks about Moses and the children of Israel traveling to the south. I'm sure it's, it's that way. Huh? Huh? Where is south? Now, you people, now look what happens. Problems came. The party that is governing now, it was started away in the church. God gave someone a wisdom and say, do this and you'll be liberated. Now, what is happening? Everyone from that party is not even a Christian. Everyone who's there on top now, there. There's no Christian there. But where did the party start? Can you see now what we are doing to God now? Huh? Can you see what we are doing? And when I was seeing this thing, I said, ah, is this how things are going to happen now? We're going to live in a country that people will fail to govern it. I will tell you how, how, what, what these people, they must do. These people, they must consider God again. And if they consider God again, that's then you'll have peace now. But without God, there will never be peace. Young people are still going to do a lot of, pro there'll still be a lot of riots. I'm telling you, there will still be a lot of problems because this is what is coming. You're going to see many people fighting striking, doing this, doing that. So many bad things. I want us to go and pray. Just 30 seconds we pray for our country and I believe Jesus will hear us. You are ready to do that? Yeah? Because even the one that now is a president, he's just afraid to come and say, I'm resigning. But in his heart, he knows he wants to resign. In his heart, he knows that I must, I must resign. So now look what happened from Mandela was the only president who finished his term. Isn't it? Huh? These ones, all of them. You see now, we are going to a point where this country will never be governed. Huh? I want us to go and pray. You are ready to pray? Just 30 seconds will you pray for your country before we close. Because God was just reminding me of these things in the morning. And I said, we'll pray. I said, we'll pray. You hear what I'm saying? I said, we'll pray. And if you pray, the word of God in the book of Joel, it says, if my people who are what? Called by what? If they do what? Huh? You know, um, I want to tell you as we are closing uh, that uh, if you must bear this thing in your mind, if I mean our country it needs a political reforms. Let me say that again. Our country needs what? Political reforms. If they don't do it quick, they don't, if they don't do it quick, 
the young people will take over. And this is going to cause a mess. Let me say that again. Our country needs political reforms. And I'm sure they will hear that. If they don't do it quick, young people will take over. So let's pray for the last time and we close. Prayer. Jesus mighty name. Amen. So now, I want to tell you that even as I'm speaking with you, there's a plan like what I said more than three weeks ago, you know, to have a strike you know, against the leadership. And I'm sure they're going to mobilize this thing very soon. So I want us to pray. You want to pray for your country? Yes. Remember what I told you. You end up living in a country that people fail to govern it. I'm sure you're hearing me. So now, if we pray, I'm sure God can hear us. Isn't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. So, I'm sure in 2024, I'm sure there's elections. We must pray for God to choose a rightful leader. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't want a rightful leader? Maybe it's time that you know, Christians must take over. Amen. Huh? Amen. You know, people that will come and fear God. Not people that will be shaken by wind. You come to Sangomas, tomorrow you go to church. Ah! We, we need to know where you are standing. If you are with God, be with God. If you are with Satan, you must be with Satan. We need to know you. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to pray? Amen. Maybe I can tell you again. I said, I'm seeing people that will mobilize the issue of strike. I even told you last time. Against your leadership. And this is going to disturb schools. You're going to fail to even go to work. You know, because it is going to be a mixed up. So let us stand up and pray. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. I can't hear you. Let's pray, let's pray. I'm coming to you now, let's pray. In Jesus' mighty name. If this thing I told you three weeks and I'm repeating it, I don't normally uh, say things and I come and say them again. So it shows that uh, you, your country really needs prayer. 
Are you hearing me? It really shows that your country needs prayer. I'm telling you. I'm not, a, I, I'm not a person who loves to speak things because I want to speak. I only speak if God says I must speak. If God says don't speak, I keep quiet. Hallelujah. Can we pray for the last time? Your voices are very low. Is that how you pray when you're at home? Huh? Uh, when you're at home, say, <laughs> you, know, you, you cannot be ashamed of your God, isn't it? You're ashamed of God. Huh? If, if people of church can be strong and pray, one day we can have a president that is a prophet. And you can imagine what will happen. I was telling people the other time, I said, one of the reasons why Africa will look like this, as if it's a cursed place, we have forgotten God now. You know, we, we have taken our own God, we have created our own God, and that's the reason why we'll be labeled as the most powerful witches ever. And I can tell you, where there's witchcraft, there's poverty. Where there's witchcraft, go to a village where it looks poor. I can tell you, in any village that you go, check that place. If it's poor, just know <laughs> there's a lot of witchcraft. Because any person that tries to rise must be killed. Every young man that tries to rise, they kill. If you want to grow and develop that place, they kill you. So now let's pray for the last time. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. I can't hear you. Can you clap your hands at the same time and pray? Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Pray, pray, pray.
in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, you can sit down.